It's your first time going to a con, and you want to get some books signed. That's probably a pretty quick video, but I just want to explain a couple things that can make your experience a whole lot better when you go. Hey, this is Perch, um, and uh, you're going to your first convention. Awesome. Good for you. You've got some comics. You've got some graphic novels. Whatever happens to be, you're going to get some things signed by some creators there. Uh, what are some things to know and remember and, and be aware of? Well, first off, uh, be aware that you're not going to get all your books signed. You, you, whatever you take there, you're going to be fortunate if you get all your books signed. And chances are there's either going to be somebody missing or a line or somebody's going to take a break and not come back or there's going to be some case where not everything you're going to bring is going to get signed and just you should know that going in good chance that the second thing is that in many cases you're going to be paying for those signatures so sometimes you can put the comic down and sometimes they're going to want some cash in order to give you that signature just be prepared for the fact that it's you know may not all come free it's good chance it won't uh, the third thing, and this is this is going to sound really ridiculous, and like you, you know the yeah, this would never impact me. You probably have your nice comics that you're going to get signed. They're nice, uh, bagged and boarded and taped. So here's what you want to do before you go to that convention: take the tape off, or slide that comic book into a bagged and boarded, uh, you know, little uh, bagged and boarded, but just leave that flap dangling. Don't don't tape it. Don't affix it in any way. Um, if they're in the plastic, you know, giant frames or, or any kind of thing like that, anything that's going to require the comic to get bent or potentially a piece of tape and, you know, stuck to the comic and drug and rip, you want removed. The convention is going to be crowded. It's going to be busy. You're going to be tired. There's going to be a line. You're going to be jostled or the creator themselves is going to take it out and give very little F's to your comic that they're taking out of that bag and board. So just don't, don't, introduce a potential disaster making thing you cannot i cannot begin to tell you the dozens and dozens and dozens of times i've watched people walk up to the table take the comic there it's in a bag it's boarded it's taped in a scramble to try and get the comic out because they, they didn't do it before they got to the front line or whatever else now the person's rushing and the comic gets either bent because like they get pushed and the comic folds in half or more times than not the flap with the tape on it comes loose and sticks to the front of the comic, and then there is a rip or a disaster in the making, and suddenly that comic you're getting signed just went from mint to pour in one quick motion. Uh, also, not uncommon for a creator to pick up that comic and like be pulling them out of the bags and, and be very, very rough with it. I've watched many a comic where the spine gets bent or crinkled, or it just it's happened. The creator does not... I mean, I'm sure they care, but in many cases, they don't care. And they're just moving this thing along like a machine, like it's a factory, and your comic is just victim of that process. And it's it sucks. Um, you'd, you'd be surprised how often that occurs. A lot is how often that occurs. So, um, you know, get out of that situation by going in without this stuff. Uh, tape down, remove tape from the equation uh, before you get to the shop. Uh, or at the shop, before you get to the table, have that comic out. Don't give it to the creator to do. Not only does the creator really, you know, get... I, the creator usually gets ticked because the creator doesn't feel like like taking this thing out themselves. So, so just don't, you know, have your stuff all lined up. Have it ready to go. And understand that if you're going to get to that front of the table, don't be a douche and have 500 comics for that person to sign. Chances are they're not going to sign it anyway, but you're also super irritating the people behind you. I get it. It's your first time you drove, you know, 20 hours to Wichita in order to get Jim Lee to sign this comic. Good for you, but still, you're either going to need to get in the line multiple times or, you know, go 10 at a time or pick your best. Whatever it happens to be, don't be one of those people who shows up with 50 comics and you're trying to get it signed while everybody behind you is pissed. Because you're, you're just taking it away from them. And, you're, you're again, it, it's a good way for the creator to be pissed at you as well. Nobody likes this uh, situation. Um if you're going there to pick up merchandise, buy early. Now, this seems tough because a lot of people like to browse and not have to cart it along with them. But generally speaking, the convention has lockers, has places you can store stuff. Stuff sells out. If you see something you like, buy it. 
just buy it, get it in hand, move on. Um, don't wait till the end. The prices do not drop at the end in some kind of fire sale situation. That does, that does not occur. Um, also, at a convention, when it's really crowded and a lot of people around, it's not the best time, unless there's a, you know no crowd, for you to go off onto a 30-minute discussion with somebody in the comics field. Um, just use the time wisely. Keep, be aware of your surroundings. Are there a lot of people around? Is the curator trying to get somewhere? Don't don't monopolize time. Don't uh, you know Bogart the creator, so to speak. Um, there there is a, a, a in general. I would say if you're visiting the tables for comic shops in the area or people you know retailers are displaying there, it's often better if you strike up a conversation with them and say that you'd like to buy some comics. You're looking some for some particular things. You're happy to buy on the floor of the con, but you're even more happy if the person would give you the card or you could contact them later when it's not a madhouse. Could things be set aside? That's usually a better way to conduct business with the retailers. They're, they're usually happy to think that somebody's actually going to come to the store and that could be an extra sale down the road. But if you buy there at the con, um, just be aware that you know you, you, you can do it if you see what you want, but there's generally more stock that didn't make its way to the con. And Usually having that connection, that that tie to the retailers in your best interest anyway. It's just a, a good way to go. Um, I've said this before on other videos. Pace yourself. It's it's a sweaty, hot event. The noise of that convention, the, the, the giant white noise, the people, the crowding, everything else, it has a way of just sapping the energy out of you like crazy. Go into some deodorant, wear it, uh, bring some for others, hand it out like a deodorant Santa Claus. That's a nice thing for you to do. But... Also, just just be aware. It, you're going into something that is is mentally draining. It it just is. Even if you're having the best time of your life, it just drains you out. So drink lots of water, take breaks, go outside, get air. These are all smart things to do. Um, that that's what you want. If you're a cosplayer, you know, good for you. But just be aware that um, you know if you've got some crazy extravagant costume, you did a really good job on it. Maybe you're wearing a bikini because you're you're dressed up like Tigra and you've body painted yourself. Um, people are going to want to take pictures of you. And while it's good etiquette, if you're one of the picture takers to ask permission first, that is what you should do. Please do. Please, at the same time, do not be one of these cosplayers that throws a gigantic public display temper tantrum if somebody takes a photo of you without asking. If you're standing there dressed in nearly nothing, um, and there's a Marvel character, what was her name? Sky, like her, her, co Cloud. I think her name was Cloud and her costume was Cloud. She was naked, except she had clouds around her, you know, the private bits. And this cosplayer was dressed up like this obscure character and basically was naked, but had like, you know, a, a bikini you couldn't see very, very, uh, you know, non-existent bikini pasties, I think at the top. And they'd put like a uh, fluff, you know, stuffing over the parts of the body and they're waltzing around. And people are taking pictures. And this person's throwing a tantrum. Like, you have to ask my picture, you know, permission before you take that picture. Yes, that would be the right ethical thing to do. But look at yourself. You're, you're, you are, you're a, I mean, it's not, it's not, I'm not victim blaming. I'm not saying it's your fault. But I am saying you're creating a display. And the fact that people are going to take pictures of you is not unusual. Um, it's, it's normal. Please don't exacerbate the, the situation by becoming a, a screaming, you know, asshole and drawing attention to yourself and everybody else. You don't do anybody any good. You're not teaching anybody any lessons. All you're doing is coming off like a jerk. So please just, you know, do it in good grace. People should ask permission. Um, if you're going in a super, super crazy costume that's designed to draw lots of attention, you are going to wait for it. Wait for it. Tell me. You're going to draw attention. If, if that's that's what happens. So just just be aware of, of, of be, again common sense. Common sense goes a long way at the con because a lot of people do not have any. So again, if you also go in with a plan and you've got um, you're you're relatively smart and you're going to do things in a a good normal sane way, um, then you're going to be ahead. You're probably going to get better deals, have a better con experience, everything else because at least 50 percent of the people in that giant hall turn into just blubbering idiots when they get in there. So you you, you have an advantage in whatever the race is. Um, fin finally, the panels. The panels are usually, are, are almost never as good as you hope. 
like you go to the X-Men panel or you go to this panel, you're not going to learn deep secrets about what's coming up in the X-Men. You're going to get a few teases. You can get some promo art that within five minutes of the panel being over will be on Newsarama. You can just click there. And so if you're, if you're going to the con and you're going to wait, say, six hours to get into a panel, um, you, there's better ways to spend that six hours. My opinion, unless you enjoy sitting in line, unless you enjoy um, getting kind of information that really doesn't matter, um, it's better to spend that time meeting your favorite creators on tables, out on the show. Um, even, you know, you, you probably have a better luck seeing and meeting more people if you went to a, you know, fairly medium, decent class bar close to the convention area. Uh, rather than stand in line for some of those panels. You probably meet more creators at the bar. I'm just, just saying. Anyway, you probably have some tips of your own. Why don't you leave in the comments below. You've been to a convention or two. What are the things that you think people should remember about that convention that would help make somebody have a better time? Would love to know your thoughts, your opinions. Let us know in the comments below. I'll respond to as many of them as I can, hopefully all of them. Uh, like, subscribe, 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 subscribe. Drive, perch to more subscribers. I get a gold star for every hundred. It's true. They deliver one in the mail. That's, that's how it works. That's, it's true. I want one of those YouTube uh, meaningless awards. Can I, can, can everybody work? I, what, what's the first tier? Is it like a hundred thousand? I mean, good gravy. That's going to be a lot of work. That's a lot of pimping to get to there, but I want one of those meaningless YouTube awards. I think that would look awesome in the shop. Can I, can, can we go for that? Cause that would be, that'd be pretty cool. Anyway, as always, thanks for listening. Uh, always appreciate it and have a, have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.